or yeah, it was yeah. you know from a nearby uh, um, bakery yeah. and it had poppy seeds all poppy over seeds, it. Poppy seeds, that's yeah. it. Poppy. So um, don't do any drug tests. No. As we learned from that episode of Seinfeld, they might think you've been taking opium because mm. that's a real popular street drug. Hmm. I have to re reevaluate <laughs> the next couple months then. But uh, it was good. It was greasy when I picked it up. Mm-hmm. Kind of no, because I did the test at first. I looked at the top. It's like, oh, the top of this bun's pretty good. Lift it up, and that's where it went. That's true. The when I picked underbelly. up when I picked up my burger for the first couple bites, it, I, right away there was a it was a napkin necessary burger. I, you know, I flipped upside down, took a couple bites. And uh, uh, I was really impressed with those first couple bites. I really enjoyed them. You were enamored with that place. You, you with that burger, and you just you had nothing but good things to say. I really enjoyed that burger. The bun was great. Poppy seeds on a burger, so rare to see, but really enjoyed. The patty was really uneven. Yeah, uh, which I kind of loved about it that it wasn't this uniform even patty that was like sort of lumpy. And some bites you got a lot of a extra beef in, and some you didn't. I think I had lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Uh, I added the cheese and I added the bacon because I like those things. You only uh, added the cheese and removed the tomato. Yeah. Um, it was a pretty good burger. I took. I ate probably half of it before I went. Hmm. Let me try with a little ketchup and mayonnaise. Oh, how was that? Uh, I liked it even better, honestly. Um, I mean, maybe that's not for everyone. It's not that it wasn't a good burger. I just wanted a little more, a little more zesty tang to it. Yeah. Um, I I was really enjoying that burger. Coleslaw, good. Pickle, good. Like I mentioned, the fries, even when we sat down, I mentioned how these were kind of like the julep fries in appearance, that they're thin, kind of floppy fries. But instead of having a burnt taste, they just tasted great. They were really sort of a sweet uh, flavor from the potato, plenty of salt, but wasn't overdone with salt. It was uh, I, I enjoyed my experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for letting me go on a monologue for a couple of minutes and responding with a, oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to take anything away. I agree with everything. It was it was all delicious. Uh, the fries, like you said, there were no spider husks, no carcasses in mine, <laughs> no little bits. Um, there uh, were fry bits, but not many. No, and it, it, tasted, it tasted good, and not in the way that the last place we went to tasted, where at first I thought, these are the best fries I've ever had. Mm-hmm. And by the end... I was like, no, no more of these because of the, the yeah, last, special. Yeah, last one, they were very well seasoned and stuff. Yeah. They had a little sweetness, maybe some cinnamon. They were good, but yeah, you can't have too many. No, no. And once again, something that was, if not ruined then, ruined tenfold by the, the sick that ensued. From last week, that's true. I'm sorry if people who are eating lunch as they listen to this, but y- y- you don't want to get sick. No. Don't, don't do it. I do want to say, in the uh, in the day that I was put out to the pastures, um, this... yeah, did you take a day off work for that, or you just so happened to have a day off work? Oh, I took a day off work, but yeah. it so happened to be a, a very unimportant day. It was a day that I could easily not show up. Okay. Um, I was uh, when I started feeling a little better. I was like, I gotta watch, watch something, I'll watch, watch something. And as I was going through, I was like, what, what is gonna make me feel good? And couldn't find any of my normal sick movies. Um, what 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 is what does that mean? Movies that I watch when, when you're I'm sick. sick. Sure, sure. For example, <laughs> though, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a big rewatcher of movies, so I don't have go to movies for certain moods. I will I will watch. Yeah, when I'm sick, I watch Ducktales, Treasure of the Lost Lamp, that movie. Okay, um, I will watch um, Aladdin. Okay, and the the first three Die Hard movies. Oh wow! Usually that's what I do when I'm sick. This time I was like, uh, I want to stay in the same vein as that, so I tried watching the uh, the first uh, Rugrats movie. Okay, didn't didn't is that the up. one where they go to Paris? Uh, I don't think. I think that might be the second one. Okay. Anyway, I can't believe one, I've watched two Rugrat movies. All right, go on. It was good, just giving me a headache. Yeah. Everybody's voice was just oh, this is awful. I watched maybe ten minutes of it. I'm sorry, I got to kill some ants. <laughs> They're all over the fucking place. <laughs> I'm still recording, huh? All right. I'm still recording. I, I worry, Sebastian, that these ants, you know, and the poison pucks that you've laid out, mm-hmm. I told you about this. Yeah. Ants are smart. 
They're going to grab these little bits of poison, maybe put it in the food that you eat. Why I mean, not? if they put maybe two or three full pucks into my food, then maybe. But, like, they'd have to open a fridge or a box, I guess, maybe a can, tin can in my cupboard. Mm. You know, if they can get through a banana peel, I can see them poisoning me. I can see them lining your lips while you sleep. It's possible. I mean, uh, for all I know, they're putting it on the corners of all the pages of my books. And when I lick my finger and turn the page, I'm poisoning myself slowly oh, but surely. That's probably what they're doing. You see I'm, assume, the I'm really assuming they're learning things from, from my books. And, uh, you know, I mean, the... the uh, oh, I mean, they're, 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 not, they're not going up there for the mallard, mallard paper wake, do you know? No, no. Like if... Uh, if 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 they're reading a book on like uh, the Paris Treaty or uh, uh, the the Depression, I, I don't I don't know what information they're going to get that's going to that's going to apply to uh, poisoning me or defeating me. But uh, I will not be beaten by heads. Mm. No, you got to get Roomba out. You said it before. Roomba yeah. needs to. Roomba. Needs to clean I don't up. think Roomba is going to be able to because it's not going to follow them. It's only if they happen to be in Roomba's path. There are a number of ant carcasses on the floor that Roomba needs to take care of, though. <laughs> Roomba's, Roomba's hungry. Gonna, Roomba's going to get sick of ant carcasses. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, Roomba, Roomba's going to be lying in, uh, uh, in the bathroom for a while. He's going to watch DuckTales tomorrow. <laughs> Just spitting up little ant carcasses every now and then. Um, so where were we? What would you think of the burger? <laughs> oh... I thought, uh, did you talk about the burger? I talked about the burger for a bit. You talked about the burger for a bit. I don't know where we ended up. Exactly. Which is the, the ants took over. Sebastian, I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on micro kittens? I don't know what those are. Are those, those kittens that are raised in jars or whatever? No, no. Those are that though. eh? But micro kittens, I think I, I don't know. I made that up in my head. It's okay. probably something else, but uh, bonsai kittens, I think, is the is the, oh, the yeah, cats yeah, raised yeah. in jars. That's messed up. Great idea. Oh no, uh, it's not. poor, poor for sad for the cats, sad for the kittens. Okay, I mean, it's a great idea if a cat wasn't a living thing. No, but see, like, like it's, it's just... a great idea for a tree, mm, which yeah. is a living thing, but it's okay. Not right, right, step back a little bit here. Not great mm. idea, but. Innovative. It's a it's a it's a, it's a stepping stone. Well, we're trying to, something new. Okay. Why not? You know, the people who are doing this, maybe they don't regard animals in the same way. You know, you do lab testing on animals. Sure. But I'm thinking here, micro kittens. I was thinking, what happens? You have a kitten. Mm -hmm. They're small. They're cute. Everyone loves them yeah. because they're so small. Sure. Now, can a kitten and another kitten? They have a kitten. No. But they could. Now, how long would it well, take? That's like a child and another child having a child. They're not it would, they're it would. physically unable to. They at that are point. physically, but what if they weren't? Now, if they could have a kitten before, before the genes uh, change, before they grew, could, could the kitten be smaller? Could the kitten be a micro version of that kitten? Is there ever a That's point? That's not how that works. But, but why not? And, and let's find a solution. We found the problem. Now we need the solution. Because I want, I want little kittens that sit on your fingertip and i think you just keep breeding these small cats just get a hamster or something man that's the thing that's 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 that leads me into thinking why can't cats and hamsters have have little babies help me help me figure this out i know it seems pretty straightforward different species can't well, there's a it. size issue as well okay uh, regarding, uh, we're not talking, they don't have to have it the... Uh, okay, the, the old-fashioned old way. We could way. be talking artificial insemination. I think no. I think just genetically speaking that they're not compatible creatures. Like there's, there's already a mule, right? And a mule is a combination of a donkey and a horse. Okay. I can see how on a barnyard there's a confused randy horse who like uh, just goes for it and then we get a mule out of it and everyone goes, what is this business? All right, well... That's interesting. Yeah. It doesn't work with everything. You can't make just any old animal have sex with any old animal. I know there's there have been a few uh, creations as far as animals go. Yeah, I think there was a a zebra mixed with a horse or something. Yeah, and there has been a what was the other one? A comma, which was a camel and a llama. 
See, they're doing this. They're doing this. This is happening, but they're doing it with boring animals. Well, no, these are certainly not boring animals. They're oh. they're animals whose genetics are close enough that they can uh, splice them. But it's boring. like you can't. It's... it's not easy to have like a half man, half fish. Those genes don't really splice well. They don't. They don't go well together. They don't splice well. But well, yeah, I guess you could something... have like a. Like, uh, you know, someone, some half fish human who uh, uh, is so developmentally challenged that they don't get past the first month of their life and it's a torturous existence. Even then, it's stepping stones, I'm saying. It's stepping stones to, they've been doing this. They do this with dogs. I know all dogs are dogs, but they're not all the same species. And you're breeding. No, they're the same species. They're different breeds. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, they are the same species, different breeds, but, you know. It's it's just as uh, strange, I think, for a Great Dane to have a a, a puppy with a uh, a little terrier, little uh, Scottish terrier or something. That's strange, but it can happen, right? Yeah, I suppose it can. Now, I why mean, can't why can't it be a frog and and uh, a hamster? They're di- they're completely different animals. It doesn't work. At least if you were like, <laughs> how about how about an iguana and a turtle? Like at least they're both reptiles. Well, Maybe how about we're all, talking all of one kind, all mammals. Can't all okay. mammals? Can Again, we get a whale? It just, it just doesn't. It doesn't like a whale man or a uh, the 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 um, hamster. Squirrel? No, th- those are actually pretty close. They, those could maybe even work. Um, That'd be a boring, boring combination. For you know, me. like I'm a hamster it. rhinoceros. No. Like what would come out of that? It just, you know, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. I don't think it would. Now I agree. I imagine the sperm would hit the egg and nothing would work. Now I understand that it wouldn't work. Yeah. But do you think there's something science can do to make it work? Like can't I'm, they? Can't they manipulate genes to I'm, a point where you can get something rolling? Yeah, I'm sure they could. But I feel like this is more of a uh, uh, an issue of um, uh, ethics. Oh, ethics, ethics. Like, get get, get I mean, rid of that. Well, once once we start talking about like making super animals, oh, they, they even made a lion tiger. They made a liger. It exists so, and it's big and it's scary. It's huge. They, and this mm. is part of the problem. Actually, here we go. This is part of the problem. Mm. They've made they've they've meshed a lion and a tiger because they're m- far more compatible uh, species than say, a hamster and a rhinoceros, um, because they're both big jungle cats, you know. Um, And the problem when you mix species like this is that they're lost genes and things don't match up properly. So this liger, um, his, his cap for growth was gone. And so he grew to a giant size. Like on all fours, it's like five and a half, six feet tall. That's amazing. No, that's terrifying. Ah. Can you imagine that, like, oh, whoops, we accidentally, accidentally made, like, the ultimate man killer. There we go. Mm. We, we just, uh, uh, science just put us one step down on the uh, uh, food chain. Yeah, but that, that's a small step. I mean, you go from, you can go down a step in the food chain. Just kill it. Just, just kill it. I mean, I know, I know we're, we're, we're not wanting to just kill everything we create, but... A certain point, if if the human race is in, in being threatened, just start over. But if they can do that, there's so much they can do. They made glowing bunnies. Have you seen these? They yeah. Injected these bunnies with something that made them glow. Yeah. Amazing. I don't know what the reason is. I mean, I feel like there's got to be a scientific reason a little later on. Like, well, this is our stepping stone so that we can now one day do a X, Y, or Z with humans or whatever. Okay. I can't imagine they're just like... So that they're easier to kill for owls. Like, owls will be able to see them super easy. So then now these bunnies will glow and owls just swoop down. Ah, see, it would be enough for me just for the reason being you can, be, you can be out in the woods. You see a glowing bunny hopping around. It's like amazing. That's it. Do you sold. understand, though, that that glowing bunny would not last long because it would be the easiest prey? It would be easy, but would it be too easy? Would it fool the animals into being like, well, you know what? I've never seen Got anything a, like there's that. something up here. That can't be. Uh, it looks pretty poisonous. I mean, uh, Matthew, we're on a we're on a we're on this slippery slope to eugenics, and then uh, all of a sudden we we, we want to cut out certain races and create a master race. And uh, I think I think humanity's been down this road before. But I think that that that's the precisely the reason they're not going down this road now because it has too many negative connotations. It's like there's too much. It's associated with too much bad press, bad publicity, you know. It's like, oh, 
uh, you know, this was something the Nazis wanted to, to tinker around with. This is something that only mad scientists. It's like no.